in this video we are going to learn about self starting circuit so what are called as self starting circuits when the circuit is designed with some don't care cases and if the circuit goes to the valid state if the input is the don't care case after one or more clock cycles then the circuit is said to be self starting circuit let us consider this logic diagram circuit is designed with the don't cares of 10 11 12 13 14 15 so suppose if we are giving that particular don't care cases as inputs if it is going to some valid states then we can say that it is a self starting circuit so let us consider let us see them if you see this is a state table we are considering this is the present state which are don't care cases as we have already told you that uh, this circuit is designed with the cases of 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 as don't care cases now we are supposed to determine for next state for these particular present states so 5 6 7 are the invalid states if it is going to that is if if these invalid states are going to the valid states which are nothing but but from 0 to 4 that is if the next state is coming uh, among 0 to 4 then we can say that the uh, circuit is a self starting circuit now how to get the next state here to in order to get the next state we are supposed to get the flip flop inputs tl tm and tn so already like suppose like in the previous video if you see we are getting the expressions for tl tm and tn in this fashion now when we see the expression for tl equal to l plus mnc bar whenever l is 1 tl will become 1 when tl is 1 that is input of t flip flop is 1 output is complement of the previous state so here present state is 1 so what happens next state will become 0 now in the case of m that is tm it is mc bar plus lc plus m bar n we get tm as 1 here and again like because tm is 1 it is the complement of present state m to get the next state m actually so we'll get 1 1 0 0 0 0 and then tn is n bar c plus nc bar that is n exclusive or c we get the tn value like 1 0 0 1 1 so now when tn is 1 it takes the complement of n here it is 1 so we'll get 0 and uh, tn is 0 here it is n n is 1 here so it preserves its state so whenever tn is 1 it complements the value of n from the present state in order to get the value of n in the next state when tn is equal to 0 then it preserves the present state as the next state so these are the l m n values now if you observe the value the states here it is 2 3 0 1 0 and 1 so these are all valid states only so for all invalid state within single clock pulse it is coming to the valid states so we say that the circuit is self starting